happy to have um, a couple of questions for uh, Monday at the end as uh, as needed. Got a few hands up. Uh, Miguel, do you want to start us off? Or not? Tony, Tony then. So what my questions are Mondays, uh, Chris. No problem. In that, in that case, we'll go with Ahmed. Hi, right, Thomas, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, right, Thomas, good to see you again. Um, obviously, today's loss was against a good side, but I think we saw Watford and Burnley picked up wins. Are you in any way alarmed right now? I think um, it's about us, um, what we can do. Um, focus on the next training, next game. Um, I think that's the most important thing. Uh, we've done that the whole season. Um, last three seasons so it's only about us um, you just said there uh, it's about you guys but I think the next three games are, are against that relegation rival so is there a possibility you might go for a tactical change as the attacks have been kind of toothless in recent times yeah uh, of course I understand what you say um, we're playing Arsenal away fighting for top four playing uh, City away a relatively good side um, didn't create that much, so of course um, I think Crystal Palace. I think we created enough to to win the game, um, so I'm not not too worried about um, about that. Of course, I'm aware that we need to create a bit more if possible. Um, I still uh, think that uh, what I said before that uh, that um, extra quality. I'm sure that will come with, for example, Josh it was a good investment to getting minutes into him today. I even mean, know he's a big player for us. He's hopefully available for Newcastle. And then Christian Eriksen is coming back into the team. So, or not back in, he will come into the team hopefully also next, next week. So, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that we will create enough um, to score goals. It's every team uh, in the Premier League, if you are in the bottom 10, have spells like this that we've been in the last 10 years. So, it's a clear pattern that is it tough to be in it? Yes. Is there anything to do about it? Yes, we can focus on ourselves, do everything we can to get out of it and don't feel sorry. Um, so would you say there is just about getting that one victory to sort of like get that confidence for you guys to keep going and hopefully get in safety? Yeah, yeah, I think I think a, one victory will do a lot, um, uh, definitely. Um, and I don't think that's very far away. I think it should have come in at least one of the last five games we, we played, but for whatever reason it didn't. Um, so it's about keep believing, keep doing what we have done well um, and, and continue. And lastly, uh, obviously today you played as a top side, today. you defended corners quite well. Uh, is that a real positive you can take out of today's game? Yeah, thank you for asking. I, mean, uh, I agree. I think the last five games in the Premier League, um, we've given zero goals away on defensive set pieces. I think that's a, that's a big thing. Uh, so that's a, a, a big plus. Um, uh, and also, I think, especially the first half, we defended um, very well. Thank you very much, Tom. That's me. Thank you. You're welcome. Jay Harris, please. Thanks, Chris. Uh, hi, Thomas. Commiserations on the result. Can I start by just checking on what happened with um, Matthias Janssen in the first half, please? Yeah. Hi, hi Jay. Uh, yes, dead leg. Um, of course, we'll assess him tomorrow. And then what were your um, just thoughts on the game in, in general? Um, I think, as Armin said, we, we faced a a very good Arsenal side. I think they showed why why they've done quite well and come quite far um, this season. Um, I'm I'm I I think they're one of the big contenders for for top four. Um, the way they play, especially the first half, I would say. Um, I think we defended fantastic. Um, uh, first half giving no no big chances away. Of course, they had a the ball a lot and. Had a lot of, of, of set pieces. Uh, the big thing were that we gave the ball away too 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 easy, too cheaply. Um, we need to do better there uh, in that aspect. Second half were better on the ball, created more opportunities. Um, unfortunately, in two transitions, we need we need to do better. But also, I would give Arsenal that the, the bit of quality that Smith Rowe showed and um, Saka. Um, just on Smith Rowe and Saka, you obviously mentioned yesterday to us that how important it was to kind of shut them down. So is it frustrating that they're the two players that have kind of done the damage for Arsenal today? Um, I think it's uh, Saka was a difficult one because 
Uh, I think there was bits we could have done further up the pitch as a transition where he's almost one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Um, it would have been more frustrating if we allowed him to combine uh, around the box or inside, but I think he actually controlled Saka in general over the game quite well. Um, Smith Rowe is the decisive uh, situation I think we need to avoid. And then I um, also just wanted to ask about specifically Johan and Brian up front. How do you think they kind of work as a duo? I know that today is not an easy game for them, but just over the last few games where they've started up front, what have you kind of made of their performances together? Um, I think they did relatively well. Uh, I think it looked more dangerous second half. I think there was some uh, quite good situation that, that, you know, could have given us more. Um, I think last game was also, we put both of them on against City because they have COVID. So they were closer to do something against um, Crystal Palace, uh, where Brian also got in some, some good situations. Um, so I think it looks okay, promising with the two of them. And then that final question for me, I know you mentioned about, you know, if you're a team in the bottom 10 of the Premier League, you're going to have spells like this. But is there like a tiny part of you that's a little bit worried about, you know, not winning in eight games or you just remain confident that you'll, you'll get through it? Yeah, I think there's no doubt that the, the toughest thing is to go through these spells because you're dead, you don't get natural energy by um, a, a win. Um, but, but it's about, and I think that's, uh, it's about staying, um, how can you say, in these spells, get through it, stay positive, do what we believe in, be consistent, don't go from you know, left to right. Um, I think that, that is a massive key. Uh, and also, I think if you look at the performances, I think that's that's a positive too. That that give us some confidence that that we you know it will drop for us the ball. It will uh, get into the back of the net. Of course, we will you know suddenly uh, everything will just open up. Plus, the big plus is that actually in a spell where we had more injuries, we still managed to nick some wins. Also, the surfly uh, what for at home, clear clear win. Um, I think we got just on the right end of the Villa uh, win, but in both games, we we're not as strong as we've been in terms of squad and, and numbers ready as we are now and hopefully for the for Newcastle game. So I'm, I'm quite, quite confident uh, going forward. Thank you, Thomas. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you. Same for you, Jay. Ian Baker. Hi, Thomas. Just to um, take on that kind of theme, um, early in the season, you're kind of building on the promotion from last season playing with kind of out fear and just kind of taking the league as it comes. But the pressure seems to be a bit on now. Is that um, hitting the players in terms of mindset at times, do you think? No, I think it's also, uh, you know, I don't know how you, how you, you can say, miss your fear. Uh, um, you're playing away to Arsenal. One of the biggest clubs. So, so the narrative is now this game, but um, not in, sorry, in general, in general. Yeah, but again, if you look at the last four out of five games we played, Arsenal, Man United, City, and Liverpool, I think they're relatively big clubs and good clubs, and it'll be a disaster if they lose points to us um, and win toe to toe. Man United should have gone something out of it. We played a fantastic defensive game in Man City. We did sixty very good minutes against Liverpool today. I want more, uh, but we still play against the Arsenal side that done fantastically. So I think it, I think it's, you know, I still think if you, come, you look at us in, in terms of the other teams that are, are below us, I still think they will prefer to be in our position. Um, so for me, one game at a time, one training at a time. But uh, is there a concern in, in your mind? Your, your team have been at their best when they kind of got free spirits um, about them and... Um, maybe they might lose that one when there's more pressure on in terms of survival in this division. I think before the season, one game at a time, try to end as high as possible. I think that's a mindset that will, that will bring us uh, far. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Jim, please, and then we'll go on to Tony for Monday. Hi, uh, Thomas. Tom